So this video I'm doing on the case of Rajendra Watt. So what happened is in 2017 she has administered uh, Vecurania which is a very see these kind of errors in medicine can disturb uh, one's career. Drug errors according to me shouldn't happen in the medical practice. So you need to be obsessed when you are uh, giving any medicine into the patient's body. Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. For people who don't know me, I am a neuroanesthesiologist. I give anesthesia for brain surgeries. So this video I am doing on the case of Rajendra Watt, who is a former nurse and has been prosecuted for a, a criminal offence. So, so what happened is, in 2017, she has administered uh, Uvekirania, which is a very powerful muscle relaxant instead of uh, giving Medizolam, which is a mild sedative. So why this happened and uh, why did she override and all that, we are not going to discuss. There are so many videos done in this area. So, there are a few things uh, I would like to highlight in this video uh, which are not actually covered in other ones and I will also explain how to prevent such incidents in future. So number one, I want to clarify that I would, do not want to give any opinion about uh, why, why it happened, whether she can be criminally prosecuted or not. I don't want to talk about that because I am not an expert in medical law, I am just a doctor. So what I would like to tell you is, see these kind of errors in medicine can disturb uh, one's career and also the potential it has a potential to damage the reputation of the hospital where they are working so you need to be doubly sure that these kind of things don't happen in your centers that is the reason i am doing this video even though there is a controversial uh, uh, subject to discuss which i wouldn't like to do but i want this video to reach some of uh, the nurses and doctors in india and other countries so that they don't repeat such kind of mistake drug errors according to me shouldn't happen in the medical practice See, if, uh, you can see in Rajanda Watt's case, what kind of consequences it can lead to, it will damage the career of the person. So in this video, I am going to tell you a few very simple things which you can follow and prevent such kind of things happening. Because since I am an anesthesiologist, I will be de dealing with drugs day in and day out. So what kind of precautions I take so that I uh, wouldn't be doing such kind of mistakes in my career, I will be telling, sharing uh, with you those things in this video. Number one thing is, you need to check the drug before loading. So you need to check the chemical name, not the brand name, chemical name you need to check and then you need to confirm that with one more person, a qualified person you need to confirm. Only then you need to load the drug. So after loading the drug, before giving the drug to the patient, again you yourself confirm the name of the drug on the syringe and please show it to another qualified person before administering any drug into the patient's body. You need to be obsessed when you are giving any medicine into the patient's body. So that is uh, one thing which I follow in my day-to-day -day practice. So, so by God's grace, there has not been any error in my practice till now. After administering uh, any drug, any drug, whatever. you need to monitor the vitals like blood pressure, heart rate and saturation of the patient for at least for 15-20 minutes. And uh, by doing that, See, there are so many things which can go wrong, like anaphylaxis or even after giving a right drug, there is a possibility of anaphylaxis happening or may, there are many things which can go wrong. So you have to monitor the patient for 15 to 20 minutes after the drug because the peak levels of any drug will be reached in 15 to 20 minutes. It also depends on the type of the drug that you are giving. So that is the second important thing that you need to incorporate in your daily practice. The third important thing is if you are a doctor and if you have a doubt with the chemical name, then just Google it or go into PubMed, do some small research in your cell phone only. so or in a computer whichever is available do some research and make sure that the drug that you're giving or the brand that uh, is being used is a correct drug or not so and uh, that is another thing if you're a nurse and you can always call the doctor who has prescribed the drug and make sure that the uh, drug that you're giving is the correct one and you can also talk with your doctor and inquire what kind of side, side effects, effects can come after administering the drug what are the immediate side effects what are the late side effects which are going to come you can discuss it hardly it is going to take some 5 to 8 minutes extra. So number 4 and uh, uh, most important thing is, see there is some kind of a time pressure. I know every profession nowadays, uh, modernized uh, uh, world has a time pressure. So in so, the medical field, I, I strongly recommend never be in time pressure. So you take your time and if it is not a critical situation, take your time and uh, then discuss with others, confirm the drug, only then give to the patient. Even if you go late half an hour or one hour, it is not worth it if you are stuck with a problem. This case is an example for that. Understand? So, try to take your time. If, even if somebody is pushing you, tell them that you will take your time and then confirm the drug, know the side effects and then give to the patient. 
all the things whatever i explained in this video are very simple things to follow if you follow these simple things 100% you can prevent any drug arrest in future and i seriously don't want you to be stuck in such kind of a case which will disturb your life your family's life and also the hospital's future also is getting affected with such kind of a mistakes thank you everyone for following the video till the end and share the video to your colleagues and who are in healthcare so that they understand the seriousness of the situation and uh, everyone take care of your professions thank you very much